Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be about the 2009 film In It, which I'd never seen before until about 2-3 days ago and it is now probably one of my favourite films. I will point out first of all, I did only initially watch it because Helena Bonham Carter plays the protagonist, Enid Blyton. Enid Blyton is not an author from my childhood. I have actually been to the, the, the library um, yesterday and I did get out an Enid, Enid Blyton book. Because one of the first things I will say about this film is that it does make you want to go and read Enid Blyton's work. As I said, she wasn't really a part of my childhood, apart from Noddy. I can't remember ever really reading anything she's ever written. So that's going to be quite interesting. I wasn't really too sure how well I'd enjoy it. I have obviously seen similar films which focus on the life of authors and children's authors. But they've been authors that I've read and enjoyed. Whereas this, I was kind of like, if I don't really know much about her work, will I really be able to connect with it? Will I be able to understand it? Will I follow it? Yes, absolutely. It takes us through the chunk of her life, basically, from when she gets published, when she first becomes a published writer, to a very crucial point in her late career. Um, quite a good number of, year, number of years before she passes away, though. It doesn't go right up to like, the end of her life. It's not birth to death, like some of them are. Um, we do look very briefly at her childhood, mainly at one significant moment in her childhood that played that had quite a big impact on the shaping of her character as an adult. Um, it's quite well to see that. And also how that also then impacts her future relationships with people. And it, it's almost as if it's saying because of this one thing in her childhood, this led Enid Blyton to do this, this and this and treat certain people this way in favour of other people over over these other people. And it's not saying that's a fact, but it's quite an interesting approach to do it, and it's not what I expected them to do for the film at all. So I was very, very impressed at the way they did that. They handled it very well. There are a lot of touchy subjects in this, and there are certain things which, for a normal film, for a fictitious film, would be, you know, some of them would be quite taboo subjects. You wouldn't find them in Hollywood, for example. And they've done it really, really well, and it's been very, very cleverly done. And it's done in a way that's so engaging that you don't even have to know who Enid Blyton is to enjoy it. You just you could just think it's about an author um, who's written hundreds and hundreds of children's books. Enid Blyton is a person I don't like. Um, because I don't really have any childhood memories of her, it hasn't really tainted my opinion of her. So I'm not looking at, looking at the film thinking, oh I loved her as a child, but actually she comes off as a bit of a nasty person in this film. I don't like her now. So for me that's fine, but I think if you grew up with Enid Blyton's books, it's going to be quite hard to watch. You should watch it, you, you, you definitely should watch it if you grew up with Enid Blyton's books. But I think it'll be quite peculiar to watch if you've grown up thinking of her as this perfect woman who does no wrong. And then you watch this film and it's kind of like, ah, my, my childhood heroine is not as nice as I thought she was. It's kind of like if it was about Jacqueline Wilson, or somebody who I grew up with, or... I don't know, Lucy Daniels, who I found out is actually a man. That was a peculiar day. But yeah, absolutely fantastic film. Cast is brilliant. Um, obviously for me, the, the main cast member that stands out is Helena. She is sensational. It's not my favourite Bonham Carter role. Definitely not. Um, it'll take a lot to beat uh, Mrs Lovett. Sweeney Todd, sensational. Um, but it's definitely high up there. I definitely think it's quite high up there because I love literature. I, I find various different aspects of it interesting anyway, even if it wasn't about Enid Blyton or even, you know, even, I don't, just because she's not my favourite author doesn't mean I can't enjoy it. Even if it wasn't Helena, I think I'd still love it. If you've never seen it, go and check it out. You will adore it. It is so cleverly done. I cannot account for how completely how accurate it is, but I've done a little bit of research on Enid Blyton's life after watching the film, and from what I can read, Pretty much most of it is accurate. We are told at the beginning, you know, some of these events have been twisted or, you know, altered for the purposes of entertainment, which is inevitable. But other than that, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Let me know your thoughts on Enid, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!